Okay, I got a good one for you. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. My ex keeps popping back into my life. We broke up in 2014. He is now married. He says he misses the friendship we had and genuinely wants to see how I am or if I need anything. Every few months, the same story. No matter how many times I've made it clear that I'm not interested in being friends with with a married man unless his wife is okay with it, which I know she will not be. This recent pop-up, he mentioned that things are not good in his marriage and he's uh, talking about a possible separation and just needs someone to talk about stuff. I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, I'm not trying to be naive. I really don't want to change my number. I've had it a long time. Uh, Care to give me some much needed input. All right, so first of all, I just want to say with all of these questions that I sometimes answer, whether that's a new client that asked me that or whether that's, you know, especially if it's something from my DMs, right? I don't know the whole situation, right? So I'm just giving you my advice based on what I see here. Um, And don't, this is just to give you a general idea of some of the patterns that I see you who wrote that message, as well as some other people who've been writing me similar questions to that have been demonstrating. But if you want my advice to your specific situation, don't just base yourself based on these videos, right? Uh, Check the links in my bio for one-on-one coaching, and I'll be more than happy to work with you and give you my educated advice based on now knowing all the ins and outs right, and give you an educated um, response. But in the meantime, let me just give you my general impression. And the reason why I kind of chose this question is because a lot of you guys write me these similar questions and demonstrate the same type of thing. So I'm, I'm gonna, this is going to make sense. I'm going to tell you what, I'm, what, I, what I mean by that. So I know that right now what you're doing, right, is your entire focus is kind of on him and his inconsistency. You are saying that he says one thing, but you kind of feel that he feels differently or that he wants to accomplish something else. You're saying that his words and potentially his actions might not really align and you don't want to be taken for a fool. You don't want to be naive. This is why you're even reaching out to me. And this is something I get very often. People who are very, very focused on looking outward and completely miss the points and do not look inward. You see, what you're saying is that you don't want to be in contact with a man who's married, especially behind his wife's back. You don't want to do that because you know that that's probably not cool when it comes to his wife, but that's also not cool when it comes to you. Building up all of these expectations, wasting your time and creating some sort of a situationship with a married man, even if he was your ex almost 10 years ago. Um, So obviously you don't want to be taken for a fool. So you want to make sure that his actions and his words align. Now, his words are telling you that he just wants to be friends, that he just wants to get in touch with you and and keep in touch with you and just make sure that you're good and everything's okay and maybe just need a friend to talk to. But you're feeling that he wants maybe more than that, especially with the history that you had and you kind of feel it's a little shady that he does that probably behind his wife's back because I'm pretty sure and you're pretty sure that she doesn't know about you at all and definitely not about the fact that you guys are in communication still. Uh, So again, you're... Judging him based on the fact that his words and actions might not really align, yet you're doing and demonstrating the exact same behavior. I don't know if you, if you noticed that. You're saying with your words, you're saying that to me, and you also said that to him, right? You said, um, how many times, no matter how many times I've made it clear that I'm not interested in being friends with a married man, yet your actions don't align with that. If you were clear about that, And if you meant what you said, that you don't want to be friends with or maintain some sort of a situationship with a married man, yet you continue giving him access, right? This is something that's been going on as far as I understand many times, because you literally say every few months he reaches out to you. And every few months, it means that you reply, that you re-engage in conversation, that you continue talking to him, that he continues getting this access to you. Therefore, your actions saying that you're saying no, yet your actions say yes. The fact that he continues getting this access to you, the fact that you even are having these conversations with him should tell you, and that's what it's telling him, by the way, right? That you are saying yes, that you are continuously engaging in this conversation. So you, you, you mentioned something about changing your number. You know, you don't have to like go extreme and like change your number. You can simply not respond to a text message. You can do that. And even if he tries a few more times, you can still not answer. You can still do that. You can also 
just completely block a person, which gives them less of a chance to continue uh, to being able to continue and reach out to you. So before you change your number and tell yourself that, oh my God, like I can't change my number because I want my number and it's like I need it for business and all my friends know me and that's a challenge, right? You're creating some sort of a challenge. You're creating an issue out of something that is not potentially an issue. You can text someone and they just don't reply. He can continuously text you and just don't reply to him. And eventually, he's going to get the message. So if you're serious about making sure that your actions and your words align and that you are really strict about the fact that, hey, I don't want to be in a, some sort of a situationship and some sort of a relationship with a married man and do that behind his wife's back because that's not cool and I just don't want to be that kind of girl, right? Then just don't respond. Yet, again, your, your words and your actions don't necessarily match. Now, to answer your question, whether or not, like, he's probably trying. Just, again, based on just what you're telling me right now, and again, I don't know your specific situation, and if you want to know my opinion about your specific situation, if you want, I would need to look into some of your blind spots, some of your own patterns, some of the history about what's going on, and I'll be able to tell you whether or not and what does he want. Um, but I won't do that just through this video. You can look at look at the link in my bio and book a session. But otherwise, just looking at that, I can tell for a fact that he's just looking to have the cake and eat it too, and you're just giving him an opportunity to do that. Doesn't matter what your words say, right? Your words are not really important, right? Uh, actions are way more important than words. So you can say, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a relationship with you, I don't want to continue talking to you, I don't want to, yet every time he reaches out, you obviously respond, you obviously reply, you obviously engage, and that gives them just enough, you know, you open the door just, just, just wide enough for him to continue having this access to you. And to be honest with you, that's probably what he wants. So pay attention to your own words and actions and whether or not they're consistent with each other before you start judging other people uh, on whether or not they do the same thing. Hopefully this helps and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.